Hey everybody, KC here. So I wanna tell you this morning about a story that I saw in the San Diego Union Tribune. This is just a great, great story. So in La Jolla, California, which is just north of San Diego, there's a bookstore called Warwick's. I've actually been to this bookstore. Uh, what I didn't realize is that Warwick's is about 125 years old. It has been continually operated by the same family. It's like going on four generations. It's unbelievable. Uh, in fact, they talk about the fact that they are the oldest, longest, uh, continually owned by one family bookstore uh, in America. Well, what happened recently was that the uh, person who's now running the store, Nancy Warwick, uh, her landlord came to her and said, hey, listen, Nancy, uh, I have just been offered uh, $8.3 million for this building. And uh, I'm gonna take that offer, though you have 15 days in which you can uh, can match it. Nancy's sitting there going to herself, I don't have $8.3 million. Um, but it ends up, and it is La Jolla, so you have to take that into consideration. It ended up that her customers did. And so three dozen customers got together, they pooled their resources, and they bought the building. And then they gave Nancy a 10-year lease with the option for two five-year renewals. So basically, if Nancy wants to stay there for another 20 years, she can stay there for another 20 years. And uh, listen, again, she was really lucky. This is La Jolla, where people have that kind of money and those kinds of resources. Um, but it really teaches us a broader lesson, right? Which is, if you're a customer-focused business, which is what Warwick's always has been, you know, when things were good for independent bookstores, when things were tough for independent bookstores, when they were coming back from the times when things were tough for independent bookstores, and then even during the pandemic. If you're a customer-focused business, your customers are going to respond in a way that may sometimes surprise you. Um, and here's the, the question that I would ask, and quite frankly, the Morning Newsbeat reader who sent this to me would ask, which is, how many of your customers would get together to buy your building if it ended up that the only thing they could do to keep you in business was to buy your building? Uh, I don't think there are many businesses that could say that about their customers. Um, and here's the thing. You all have loyalty programs, you, you know, but are they really loyalty programs? Are your customers really loyal? Or are they just using your app or your, or your little, you know, tag on, your, on their keychain just to get discounts? Um, you know, I think that this is a great example of customers actually proving their loyalty to a business that has proven over time its loyalty to them. And that's what a real loyalty program does doesn't pay people to kind of with discounts. It proves their loyalty to the customer over and over and over. And as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to customer loyalty, it seems to me that Warwick's has written the book on it. Anyway, that's what's on my mind this morning. I hope you all have a great weekend. And as always, I want to hear what's on your mind.